to Casa Chiliano, where we have Mamarella. We're cooking today with um, the beautiful French chef, Corinne. Over here, we started our risotto. We're going to make a nice chicken risotto. Um, everything we're going to be doing is Italian style, no recipe. All intuition, fresh, beautiful ingredients from the garden. And um, we're still pressing out some of this guava jam the, from the guava. guava that we have France over here working on the strawberry rhubarb tart. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to add the guava too. Wow. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Uh, the onion and then we toasted the rice and then for me when I make risotto I just put all of the liquid on top and I let it sit. Mm -hmm. Some people they think for the risotto you have to stir 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 mm -hmm. add slowly stir stir mm -hmm. stir. You try it this way you tell me what you think. For me I like to work a little bit less. <laughs> And to me, the taste is a really nice vermentino, a nice wine from Devero. We're going to use a very precise Italian measurement called a oops. <laughs> Intro our risotto. Good. More broth. Incoming. Raised greens, you just want to balance your acid and your oil. So the acid we're using is um, this really nice Meyer lemon. And we have olive oil. Um, you could also use balsamic vinegar, rice vinegar, any kind of vinegar for your acid. So pretty, huh? And you throw it on the olive oil, right? Mm -hmm. And you just want to go slow and low. So yeah. low heat, let it cook yeah. slow, and it'll be nice and tender. So we have our risotto. You can see the liquid is. Yeah. Really so, up, so I'm going to go ahead and mix it. Mixing it um, helps release the creaminess of the reason. Doesn't need to be like mm, 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 all day. I don't know if you can tell from the smell, but... So what I learned at the farmer's market with the guava is the ones that are like almost colorless yeah. are the most fragrant and sweet. So the green ones have less flavor. So the ones to choose. So you put asparagus cat pieces in the risotto. Mm -hmm. And I like to put it in towards the end so it doesn't get too mushy. Be nice and al dente. I love the kitchen. Mm. And the vegetable. It's coming up. It's coming on. It is. That is time. Awesome. All right, we're just gonna sear the chicken. Get a nice, whoops, back up. A nice sear on it, and then uh, we're gonna wrap it in bacon and cook it in the oven. Bunch of salt. And we need something red, right? To put on yeah, it? I think I'm going to do these really pretty chili fries that I have at the end. Uh, bacon time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Can you do me a favor? Can you put the lid on top of the We have our seared chicken. Uh, we wrapped it in bacon. And we're just putting a little, little bit of thyme in between. From the gather. Yes. Because everyone likes a little bit more thyme. It's gonna infuse. It's gonna infuse our meat with a really uh, lovely flavor. At the end, we take it out. Yeah. Oops. Go to bed. Go to bed. Good night. What a night day. And the oven is still preheating right now, so we'll wait. Oh. Nice and crispy. Bye bye. This is um, fresh mozzarella that's injected with cream. This is from the Marie's Cheese Counter at our local Ralph's. Come to my farms. Here, try it. So sweet, huh? Mm. Is it to eat? Uh, how do you eat it? So you just have your bread, and then yeah. this is going to be like a tomato crudo of olive oil and basil on top. Mm -hmm. And then once you see when I open this, it's like all creamy. You just spread and put your tomato salad. Oh, it's like a caprese. Imagine if he, he died in New York. Oh, beautiful. Now you want to see the magic? Yes. This is your first burrata, right? Yes. So this right. is an honor. Watch what happens. Look how beautiful inside. Oh, oh, creamy. You're gonna love it. We get use a cracker right now. I'm gonna get some olive oil. That way it doesn't get all soggy. Okay. But we've got our chicken, some broil. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes. I like that bacon crispy. Yeah, it's good, crispy. Make sure that it's. So that's the kale? Yeah, all that kale made just this little bowl. Yeah. <laughs> so that way it renders down like I'm really surprised. Yeah. Right here, you try these? No, no, no. I'm just gonna plate it. So, Parmigiano Reggiano. The best. Nice. So we have the guayaba um, combo mixed in with our strawberry and rhubarb. Mm -hmm. We have our um, par baked puff pastry. And there's whoo! Fill up the middle. We're just gonna do all of it. <laughs> I'll just put it down. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to make a crust with another sheet, like a little braid around the side. I'm gonna set that out for us. Mm -hmm. Now it cooks. Oops. Oh, you put it a little bit in the oven? Yeah, so the fruit will get nice and cooked. Oh, okay. I see. Very good. Is it a bit of rice? Hmm? Is that rice? Yes. Mm. Too many glasses. <laughs> I like the batter of wine. Yes.
slice. I think square is just going to be our best bet. Yeah, it kind of goes south. Alright, our guest first. 